What is up y'all, this is JT. I've got my older Craftsman C3 19.2 volt, five and a half inch trim saw with a lithium XCP four amp hour battery on it. And what I'm gonna do is take, this is an older blade. It's not missing any teeth, but they are dull. And uh, I actually took a file and kinda tried to sharpen them a tiny bit. But this is the original blade, or if it's not the original, it's like the original. Because I'm pretty sure the original one lost a bunch of teeth, I'm not sure. Uh, but this is a fast cut. And what I have here is the Admiral 5.5 30 tooth construction blade. This is for construction lumber, hardwood, softwood, and plywood. So we're going to test this on a very old treated 2x4 and uh, we're going to take some uh, test cuts on just this shitty blade with the same battery I'm not going to switch batteries on you you can even look at all the damage on it but this is the one that I had re-greased and It seems to be running a little bit better, so what we're going to do is just run some cuts and we'll see what it does. Okay, um, I'm not sponsored by Harbor Freight or by their tools, but let's see what this does and then we'll compare it to the other one. Okay, lots of cutting out, um, tearing out as well. Uh, that was partially because I was holding the foam, but let's try it again. That was a little bit better of a cut, still a little bit of tearing out, and uh, obviously you can see it's doing some friction burns, but not too bad actually, for as old as that blade is. Here's the other parts. That one it did burn quite a bit. You can see the burns. And then this was the outside, so this was part of the, the first cut, and you can see it burned a lot. So, Pretty much, we're gonna switch this out. What you're gonna do is take a five millimeter hex, and then if you could spin it fast enough, you can pull that right off with an impact or something like that. You don't even need to hit the lock. And then pull the guard back. Slightly warm, which is nice because it's cold out here. And it's that easy. But as you can see, it's not missing any teeth. This is the type of blade you're going to get on most saws when they come out of the box, but let me get this sucker open and we'll put that on. Okay, so that was not too bad to get out of the package. I actually didn't even need a knife. I went and grabbed one anyway. But as you can see, the blade spins this direction. So when you mount this, this is what you're gonna see. So let's get the sucker mounted. Alright, so when I was putting this on here, uh, it was a little bit tight because there is paint on the inside of the arbor. Let's go ahead and, because this is the weaker saw that I have 
I have the stronger one, which is the a little bit newer. But eventually I'm going to upgrade to different tools. But let's just see if this cheap blade does any better. Wow. I don't think I have my depth all the way. Actually, it doesn't seem to be cutting as deep, but as you can see, it flew right through them. Huh, that's crazy. Let's try it again, see if it goes all the way through. That time it went all the way through, but I did hit a knot right there. Let's keep going. Wow. <clears throat> Quite a bit better. Now if you got a saw like this and you're like, hmm, I think I'm gonna throw it away because it won't cut through anything. Well, that's like an ancient treated board right there. And uh, cut right through it no issues even when I hit that knot it only stopped once so that's pretty crazy and it does have the little reliefs in there just like the normal one does so so far I don't know about durability wise but so far it is a lot better than the stock one so we'll film another video in time to see how much it holds up. So thank you for watching. Let's not forget the newer version. Put that blade on that saw. Same board. Shoes right through it. Crazy.